Tom in Oslo, Norway writes to me, how do you know when you have reached the potential of your loudspeakers and investing in better equipment will give little or no improvement? I currently have a pair of KEF QX40 speakers, which I've been very happy with. Uh, they have lacked a little in the sound image, but within the budget I have, I, had a fe I feel that I have gotten about as much of them as possible. I now want to take this one step further and fill in the gaps I have missed. But how can I know that investing in a better and more expensive amplifier will give me what I want, or if the limitations lie in the speakers themselves? That's a great question for which I don't know that I have a great answer. I, I will do my best to share just some thoughts with you on that. First off, it's rare that a loudspeaker can deliver the full potential of your electronics. Speakers, as I have said countless times, are typically the weakest link in the system. It's one of the reasons why after doing this for 49 something, 48 years, I finally was able to find the right designer who could come up with a loudspeaker that really met our ultimate hopes and desires. I mean, for all these years that we've done PS Audio, before the Aspen loudspeakers and before Chris Brunhaber, who designed all of them, came into our path, the only speakers that I could honestly recommend to people uh, were few and far between. I mean, you have to imagine how many people would call us, write us, and say, all right, I have your electronics. What do you recommend? How do I get the most out of those electronics? What kind of speakers should I get? And I always struggled with it because the speakers that would most benefit from our electronics were likely out of the financial range of most people or there were just a lot of compromises, whether it was Magna Planers, uh, Infinity back in the days when Arnie was running around, Genesis when I was there at Genesis. I mean, we made great stuff, but it was either financially out of reach of people or anyway, on and on. So speakers have always been the weakest link, and it's one of the reasons why, again, we finally are introducing speakers that I don't hesitate to recommend. Not because we just make them, but because they, after all these years, actually live up to that. So assume that your speakers are not giving you the full potential or even close. And your KEFs are good. I don't know that particular model. I have LS50s at home, and they're okay, but they're just not very revealing. So some speakers are revealing, some speakers aren't. Most aren't. So I would just have to go under the assumption that your speakers probably have a bit to be desired. And I don't know if that helps you or not. That said, one of the things you can do is experiment around with cables and equipment. Maybe borrow a friend's uh, different products, put them into your system. How easily is it for you to hear the differences in those electronics or in those cables. If it's like, boom, I hear it right now. Okay, your speakers, your system is probably pretty resolving, discerning. And in that case, I would go ahead and invest in electronics because I think you're going to be able to appreciate it. But if you struggle to hear differences between this preamp and that preamp, it's like, I think I hear a difference. You need different speakers. So then I would be focusing on upgrading my speakers to something that is more resolving so you can appreciate all that is possible with the electronics. Hope that helps. Good luck. Thanks.